Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, what are the expressions in SSRS report and how to use them. When we create a report, uh, it is a static report. Uh, we can uh, see the color, we can put the color, background color, maybe text color and uh, font size, font uh, uh, width, font, font heights and all other different things. Uh, whatever we set in a report, those are static values. Uh, but uh, depending upon the runtime values, uh, we can change those properties. Uh, so let's say if I have used the font size 10, uh, at runtime, if I get a value, say in one of the column name uh, um, Amir, we want to change that size uh, to 15, we can do that. So expression help us uh, to make uh, our report dynamic. Uh, we can change the things uh, depending on the values uh, uh, on, on the runtime. So that's what we are going to learn how to do that. We will be learning uh, how to write the expressions. Uh, we will uh, see what what functions are available to us uh, when we write expressions uh, and uh, we are going to change the background image uh, in this uh, uh, demo by using some parameter values uh, we will be changing the title of the report by using some expression as well and maybe a couple more example I will try my best to put as much as we can and I already have a videos uh, a lot of videos where I have used uh, expressions uh, so you can watch those videos you will find expressions at multiple places I use in uh, my reports so let's go to the SSDT SQL Server data tools and create a report first of all let me take this query so this is my query that I'm going to use for our data set so you see that there is uh, some uh, region columns we have other columns as well sale person first name last name and uh, products sold and uh, uh, some uh, date sold date city state and country I'm gonna take this value create a report so here I have a SSRS project already open if you don't know how to open it uh, there are videos you can watch in my series uh, once you have the project open you need to have a shared data source otherwise you have to create the embedded data source in the report and uh, I have already created the shared data source so you can see it is pointing to sales you can always right click here and go and create a new data source that will ask you SQL server name and database name now go to the report tabs click on add new item click on the report and uh, then we, what we need to do give some name so I will say intro to expressions add once you add that uh, empty report will be created uh, here in the data source tab right click add data source uh, so that's where we can go ahead and create embedded data source uh, that mean that the data source is going to be available only in that uh, report uh, we can uh, use the shared one if we have uh, so let's go ahead and use that one I'm gonna call this one DS sales and uh, let's use a shared data source uh, that's sales uh, hit ok next part uh, create a data set data set is a result set or rows returned by your query that can be simple select query uh, coming from a table view or a, a store procedure or maybe you are using a function in select query so anything whatever returns your results we call it these set sales sales total now use embedded data set here use the data source so we can write our query and that's where our query is going and I want to create this one as a parameter report so where I will say region is equal to at the rate region name so I'm creating single value uh, parameter so here when you say put uh, region is equal to then it means single value if you have in class that means multi value parameter so in our case it is single value parameter hit ok now right click here insert and bring a table so you can bring a table matrix whatever you want here we will be bringing a couple of columns I'm going to bring uh, these columns here and uh, let's bring in another column called product name and last we will want to bring a region so I want to show you a few things here let's uh, move this one a little bit on this side now we are good click here bold give some color so let's say we want to go green and uh, here we are all good now let's go ahead and create uh, preview our report it is asking us a parameter value so I have to provide the parameter value so if you see that uh, the report is created and uh, it is uh, only for Asia so Asia values are displayed what we want to do first of all we want to print uh, out name of this uh, report so let's say if I want to say right click here insert and say table uh, text box I can go ahead and some put some static values uh, here in text box so, so if I go, go ahead and put some static values uh, let's say uh, if I will say sale uh, total sale and that's it now 
let's consider that one we want to make this one dynamic so in this case it is saying total sale but doesn't say anything here what we want to do we want to take this value whatever change on the fly at runtime and we want to put it here we want to say total sale sale for region asia for european region for american region so that's what we want to put so instead of just writing it here you right click here go to these expressions you see fx or expression so then that's where you can go and use the expressions and in the expressions you have categories you have constant you can put some constant values or you can use the built-in uh, fields such as uh, execution time page number uh, uh, page name sorry page number and uh, report footer and different uh, values are present to us these are the returned by the system so ssrs give us all these options we will use them in different places now here we are we also have a parameter so we can use the parameter value and then change our expression then we have fields all those fields whatever we use that that's that's also we can use we have data set and here we can use the values coming from there we have variables we have different uh, operators such as uh, uh, arithmetic operators comparison concatenation and all those kind of thing uh, we have it we have common functions just so there are a lot of functions we have uh, and any of them can be used we have aggregation financial conversion tax uh, so there are tons of things you can do pretty much everything uh, but here what we are interested in uh, we want to say if uh, the value we just want to add the parameter value so in this case i will be saying is equal to okay and then i will put constant value i will say my total sale and then i want to add so i want to add what i want to add parameter value that's the parameter region name so i double click here sorry it uh, overwrote so i'm gonna put it here total sale for region and then i can give some space and then add so now it is then this is the constant value i'm adding and this is the, the parameter value i'm using so now we have written expressions in which we have used some constant string value and we concatenated or we use concatenate function you call it can whatever concatenation so this is one way to write expression and we now hit ok go ahead change the background color and all that make it bold uh, make it italic make it uh, maybe um, let's see blue this, this uh, we are going to write expression on that on top of that as well let's do well so here we have asia let's say if i write asia so i'm saying total sale for asia region and that's what i see asia if i will say now europe now i will be seeing the total sale for europe region but uh, then another requirement comes and say okay we are fine uh, but we what we want uh, for europe region there should be different color uh, and uh, when uh, we say asia there should be different uh, color so we don't like this color anymore we want to have different color okay we can do that for you so if we go ahead and uh, press f4 that give us the text box uh, properties so in the properties uh, you can see a lot of things that we can change uh, about this uh, text box uh, so let's say if i have a background image we, i can change the image if i want to i can go ahead and change the font uh, so anywhere i have the fonts uh, i can click here let's say if anywhere i click here expression wherever i see the expression that property can be changed so if i want to change the color so this is the font color if i want to change i can go and write expressions so take a look on properties of uh, those item and then you can see if the expression can be written or not written in this case let's say if we are interested to change the background color of this text box depending on the parameter value so let's find our background color so what, what where we have background color light blue that's what it is right now go to the expressions uh, and now we can write expressions uh. here we will be using uh, some conditional uh, functions uh. so if you go to the let me see conversion financial aggregation and the program flow okay this is a where we can use those a conditional uh, function we can use if uh, that's if else uh, and switch you can give us more like a case statement uh, so in this case i have three values minimum and i want to write that so i will be using a switch so i will write equal and then i will say switch and if you see i'm writing expressions for background color so if i will say switch and then uh, what i want to do i want to check the value of a parameter and the right click here double click here on the and if i say equal to asia if uh, my value is equal to asia what color i want i want uh, uh blue okay and then uh, put the value then you put a comma then uh, 
use other case statements such as like okay if this value is this then blue else what we are going to do we are going to check for the next value so you bring the same uh, field equal to and then you are going to say let's say Europe and for Europe we want green so put comma and say green and uh, then we have third value then uh, use the same parameter and then we are going to say if it is equal to North America then what we want another value let's say I don't know um, <laughs> I'm, I'm really bad with the colors like uh, maybe red whatever and uh, anything beside uh, that will be whatever the default value for this uh, text box, ba box background is so it is going to uh, switch is going to check the very first condition if it is Asia okay it is going to give us blue background for this text box if not it is going to move to the next one if it is a uh, Europe okay then it is going to give us green if it is not then it is going to go to the next one so hit okay let's go ahead and preview the report now and uh, if we put Asia you see now we see the background of this uh, total sale for Asia is uh, region Asia is equal to uh, that's what we see in the background of blue and if I go ahead and use the green uh, Europe now I see everything in green if I put North America then I see the background color for this text box in red and also those values are used in the title of that report so but depending on these things we can uh, do a lot of things so let's go ahead and do a few more things let me bring some of the images we can add images embed in this report so I'm gonna go ahead and add few of them let's say we will bring Asia map I just uh, I have added a few pictures so we have another one is American map sorry North America map actually and uh, let me find out it's called the uh, it start with a so I have America map and then I have another picture so you can use that one and it called the Europe map let me get all the images Europe map so suppose that you have three pictures doesn't matter it has to be map and all that you can have anything uh, as a picture once uh, you will display your report uh, you want to go ahead and change the background with each of the region uh, so in this case let's say if we click here and the, this white place and uh, then uh, press F4 this is going to give us uh, the properties now here you can see that I can change the background color depending on the values I can change the background image so in this case this is going to be embedded image because I already have the image inside the report and the values I want to use here so by using the same one I can select one and I can or I can write expressions so let's say if I want to write expression I will say switch and in this case exactly like parameter value I will say is equal to if it is Asia what I want to do I want uh, the image so I have to provide uh, the name of the image is called Asia map and that uh, next uh, if uh, the parameter value is equal to let's say it is Europe what I want to do I want to have a uh, Europe um, uh, image so let me Europe. and then uh, what I want uh, if uh, the parameter value is uh, North America then uh, what I want I can go ahead and use uh, the America map I could have just uh, given proper name but I'm kind of lazy on this name convention so now let's go ahead and hit ok now go and preview your report first of all let's provide Asia and uh, you will see you see the name for uh, title for the report came total sale for a region Asia that's also came from expression then uh, we see that uh, okay on the background we see the Asian um, map and also uh, the thing uh, this blue color for this text box heading is uh, coming from the expression as well so the values are changing um, I don't really care uh, you can see those uh, values or not but I, the goal is not to be make perfect report just to show you the how the expressions can be used if I will change to Europe and now you see that I have the uh, European region customers and uh, on the back I, I can see the image uh, if you see Ukraine Turkey Poland Germany and all that that's uh, more like Europe but my, my pictures are not great I just uh, you know have those pictures to show you and change it but you can have your own pictures whatever you like
North America if I do that then uh, here we'll see Arizona and all those different states uh, and that's where your um, customer um, s detail report look like and uh, these things are coming from the expression like North America red color is also depending on the expressions uh, so that's how you can uh, go ahead and create your report uh, now let's go ahead and uh, write expressions uh, on top of uh, this uh, now we are going to use one of the field uh, let's say if we use uh, uh, region value and then change the font color so now we want to write expression uh, here so let's say we click here and then we uh, press f4 and uh, we want to go to the font and here it is black for now and we can go to the expressions and uh, here i want to write uh, the same thing uh, in this case, uh, let's say we'll not write uh, everything. Uh, we let's go to we only use if statement. We are gonna say I I if uh, that will be only work for one condition. So we will say if the field is uh, let's say region is uh, America, then what you want to do North America. That if that's the value, then uh, what we want uh, we want this color to be red for the fonts, uh, and then else uh, we want. Uh, uh, black may be fine how about yellow just give yellow and uh, also uh, this is going to be only checking one expression so if it's going to work like this if it is going to check the value if it is North America it is going to make that font uh, color red otherwise uh, yellow so let's go ahead and do one thing I'm going to do this just okay and uh, let's preview the report now if uh, I will say Asia it is going to be very simple the same way and you see the yellow color is displayed uh, for our fonts uh, if I will go North America and uh, now we will see every record is coming in the uh, red color so that's how you will see the font color is changed the same way you can do a lot more let's say in the same uh, uh, detail we want to do one more thing we want to say okay uh, let me go back to the font where are my fonts here and say like uh, here let's uh, let's check the font uh, size okay and we say or uh, uh, the font uh, yeah let's check just the font size and go to expressions and now it is 10 pt so if i will use the same thing right here i use if uh, and i said if it is north america and uh, i want 20 pt otherwise i want uh, um 30 pt okay so if uh, my field value is North America I want 20 PT otherwise I want 30 PT so I'm not sure uh, maybe we have to put this one in the uh, double quotes uh, so I haven't tried this uh, font thing but let's put in the double quotes uh, it is string value so let's uh, font size we are changing when it is North America 20 point and uh, when it is in other than uh, North America 30 point so hit OK now let's go ahead and take a look now if we put Asia see this is big font so so we see uh, Najaf Ali compu and uh, computer Asia and product name so they are really big but when we go on North America they should be a little smaller than this and now you can see that those fonts are small and their ch color is different and red so all those properties whatever you see on the report level by pressing F4 you can see the properties you can have tablex properties you can press F4 give you all those properties for the entire tablex you can have properties on the text box uh, so everything uh, can be changed uh, dynamically by using these values of from parameter values from the field values uh, from the maybe date time if you run a uh, run your report uh, during the first six months uh, from Jan to June uh, maybe or every everything in the report you want in a like a green uh, in the after six months you want to change your color uh, of the report you can have different color maybe you want to create a report uh, then each of the month has totally different layout uh, and you can just uh, create that report and uh, depending on the month number it will change the four made background color and all those kind of thing so you can make your report dynamic by using expressions so thanks very much for watching this video and check out other videos I have used a lot of expression to how to hide the empty rows how to show the null values how to change the background color and all those kind of thing I have done in other reports and take a look and you will learn a lot thank you very much see you in next video